so here we are with the um, 1992 Sea-Doo SP. And uh, I just was working on the other one here and realized that there was uh, a secondary oil line that was missing on this one. Luckily, I've been working on them and haven't taken it out yet. But I just got a quick video there of replacing the bottom oil line. It can be done. It's just a pain in the butt. Good luck. Be sure to check the underside of your motor here. This is, we're looking at the right side towards the rear by the drive shaft. This line is totally hidden from view and I've had these sea for a while now, just kind of getting them running and I had no idea this was there and it totally could have fried one of my cylinders had I not uh, fixed this. Pretty tight. Basically going by feel and <clears throat> have my phone down by the uh, drive shaft with the screen on recording this. Pretty sure that's, yeah, that feels like it's up in there all the way, bottomed out. <clears throat> Push it on nice and tight. All right. So, in case you didn't realize, there are two oil lines. Let's flip this around. Can I? No. There's the first oil line right there, which is pretty obvious. But these are oil injected. They don't go into the carb, they go straight into the cylinder. So there's one for each cylinder. Now you know. Now this little guy is the throttle for your oil pump. While the SeaDoo is idling, just hold it wide open and uh, it should prime your system. You can actually watch the oil travel through the new lines you just put on. And uh, yeah, it tricks the system into thinking you're going wide open with the whole motor, so it's trying to feed a lot of oil in. But anyway, hope this video helped you and uh, yeah, good luck with your project.